Hi, I'm Katie Allman reporting for KD Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. Dennis Trainer and Robbie Moses, the stars of the new comedy series, Just Passing Through. How initially did you guys get involved in Just Passing Through? Oh, hi, Katie. It's a pleasure being here. Um, initially, we were contacted by our friend and uh, director, writer, producer, creator, creator, Jeremy Larder, who's responsible for some uh, very you know successful and interesting uh, stuff that you see online. Uh, and I know myself, I jumped at the, at the chance because uh, it's really quite a tale. Great. Yeah. And tell me what's at the heart of the story in terms of these two funny Canadian characters on their journey. Um, it's just it's really a fish out of water story. Two guys who are uh, on their way to make it big in the uh, city of Calgary and uh, in the oil field and they uh, their car breaks down and it's just they ha they get stuck with their cousin in Toronto and he uh, you know he's the complete opposite of the two guys <laughs> and uh, you can just imagine the uh, hilarity, the hilarity <laughs> that would that would ensue and just the pain in the butt that he is to them <laughs> or they are to him <laughs> and you guys are from PEI and you actually drove across the provinces to up until Ontario anyway, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. um, w during this journey, did anything unexpected happen in real life that made its way into the story or maybe just crazy things that did happen in real life? Well, we ran into that guy, remember, and never told anybody? Oh, oh yeah. shoot. Jeez. Uh, well, no. No, nothing, no. nothing. No. Nothing? We didn't actually go, <laughs> go too far into the trip. Okay. We, yeah. only, we only filmed till about Moncton and kind of fake the rest. Yeah, yeah, mm. it was the magic of movies. Yeah, yeah we um, we thought uh, the trip, first of all, it would have been a blast, uh, but the uh, budget, time, all those uh, restraints, um, you have to, you know, take those into play. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was great because um, we managed to manufacture Toronto on PEI, which seems, you know, what a leap that was. But uh, by the time we got to Toronto and uh, started filming again, it seemed like uh, the transition for us as travelers, uh, making the physical move here, and, and as actors, you know, starting out here in Toronto as well, um, brought everything together. Th that's actually a good question for Jeremy and Jeff because they actually did do the complete drive, mm. the two producers. So those guys drove, yeah. you guys came out separately? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And you guys, being from the East Coast, um, you have your own sort of wacky crazy sense of humor that everybody loves oh, thank but you. you're welcome <laughs> but, tell, <laughs> <laughs> but tell me a little bit about you know tr going from the east coast to toronto sort of what makes us different but more so what makes us alike in terms of being canadian and our sense of pride and identity wow that's an awesome question <laughs> um well i think the the series uh takes that question and it puts it really in the forefront by uh, managing to take the sort of idiosyncrasies that we have uh, attributed to us wherever we live in the country stereotypes it's about smashing some of those stereotypes and um, in that process realizing that hey we've got a lot more in common than you know we actually expected to see Absolutely. yeah I think the, that we that's a huge point that we all do have a ton in common. My girlfriend and I actually did, just did move to Toronto, and that's the thing. People think, oh, big city, that people are snobs or whatnot, but I haven't met one person that wasn't polite and nice and since I've been here, and I think the opposite is true. You know, people from Toronto might think people from the East Coast are hicks, or I think they'd... <laughs> all right, I'm sorry, Dennis. <laughs> but, uh, I'm from a small town. I'm yeah. sure people think I'm a hick. <laughs> but then if they were to come to Prince Edward Island, they would, you know, have the same feelings of, you know, these people are, there's a lot of nice people here. Absolutely great. And where's the best place for us to find out more information and to catch the series online? Um, just passing through just passing ca. Through ca. Yeah, yeah, uh, which is being released uh, very shortly, yeah. very shortly in a few days, and all episodes are going to be released at once. So, it's that game Game of Thrones thing, right? You can just you know have a party by yourself and cry, laugh, <laughs> all those things. November tenth. 
Yes. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks so much, guys. Congratulations. Thank you very and much. And best of luck with the series. Oh, Thank you very much, Katie. And uh, just to let everyone know, too, that there's a, a, a really great uh, part pulled off by somebody that you're very familiar with, Katie. Yes. And, yes, uh, I play a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> a great hooker. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so well, thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. Mm -hmm.